Hello. Happy Thursday. It is February 15th. I'm doing my long run tomorrow on Friday because Taylor, who I train with, she is going out of town this weekend. So we figured let's just get it done with tomorrow and then we can enjoy the weekend. So we're gonna do 20 tomorrow. It's 20 miles easy pace. We had our long run workout last weekend with 20 miles. So it'd be kind of nice to just like do it easy paced. But I just got some new fuel in the mail. I love to support a local uh, running store, don't get me wrong, but the feed is the best because you can order, like they have everything. So if you order multiples of a few different things, it's kind of nice because you can just get it all in one spot. I have been taking Morton's with honey stingers. Let me show you. I alternate my Morton gels with the caffeinated honey stinger. This is the strawberry kiwi flavor. And I put all my gels in this little thing. I'll pull out what I need for tomorrow. I'm gonna do two Morton gels and two honey stingers because I'll take one every four miles. So 16 will be the last time I take one for 20, yeah. So run out of Morton gels. So I got a fresh pack. Alec saved the day last week and went and got me a few at the loop. Three stack here. And then I also got the honey stinger chews i don't know it's kind of nice sometimes on the long runs that are easier pace to switch it up and just have the chew instead of a gel they just taste so much better so i got a pack of these as well these are also kind of nice to have for like my medium long run or if i want to have a snack before the run and i'm not super hungry it's just like a good quick easy carb so there's that restock. Hello, it's a little bit later now. I just got done with work for the day. It's like six-ish, a little bit after six. I just made a very easy one pan chicken sausage bake. Basically pick out your chicken sausage of choice, veggies of choice, put it in or on a pan with olive oil, a little salt and pepper. And then I put a bunch of spinach on the bottom of my bowl and just toss it on top and just stir it in. I'm gonna to top it with some cottage cheese and some hot honey, which is kind of a weird combo now that I'm thinking about it, but I don't care. And I'm gonna get in some protein, extra protein with the cottage cheese. I just bought a new one of these because it is running low. I just realized that this isn't very carb heavy, but I've had plenty of carbs as snacks today, so I'll be just fine. Oh, mm -hmm. such an easy way to get in a bunch of veg. A little greens and little mammal. This is too green. <laughs> There's too many greens in here. We did the spinach feta chicken sausage, green bell pepper, red onion, broccoli. Upstairs, so I'm gonna charge it while I'm gone. So y'all are on my phone right now, but I just finished getting ready, put my shoes on, I'm wearing Asics Nova Blast 4. I don't know if y'all can see from this angle. And then features socks, of course, fast and free shorts from Lululemon. I'm actually wearing mostly all Lululemon today. Energy bra from Lulu, the Lululemon vest, I don't know what it's called. This vest is pricey and it does not come with a water bladder. However, there's room for one in the back and on the sides if you wanna buy them on Amazon. The quality of the fabric, I believe, is worth it, especially because you can get cheap bladders on Amazon. I have yet to do the bladder thing. I just kinda of like it for runs when I'm wearing shorts that don't have extra pockets because I like to have my stuff just like right here. So I'll hold my phone on one side. I have two Morton gels, two Honey Stinger caffeine gels, and I'll take one every four miles. I'll start with the 
caffeinated, non-caffeinated, caffeinated, non-caffeinated. And I have my chapstick in here. I have my handheld water bottle. We're not going with our group today. It's just me and Taylor, so we won't have any water stops. So water bottle, and then that's it. Let's do this thing. I'm so sore, like my armpits. It literally hurt to put deodorant on because I'm that sore for my upper body day. I'm also trying this new energy drink. Energy plus immunity, caffeinated sparkling water with adaptogens, antioxidants, and super herbs. Um, it's called Haywell, but I like it because this whole thing is only 75 milligrams of caffeine versus usually for energy drinks. This size is 200 milligrams, which is way too much for me. 200 milligrams isn't too much for me, but I like to have multiple caffeinated things. So if I have 201, they're just kind of... I'm trying to just figure out what caffeine I'm going to want before the marathon because lately I just like have not been in the mood to make coffee in the morning and it's just nice to have something quick and I can just grab it and then bring it upstairs with me to get ready. So we're going to figure that out. But also, I'm eating Teddy Grahams. I also haven't really had an appetite in the morning, um, which is not great, but I will basically just fill up a little cup of Teddy Grahams and I'm definitely getting the same amount of calories and carbs. Actually, I would have to add that up. But I've been feeling pretty good having like a full serving and a half of Teddy Grahams. I know it's at least the same amount of calories as my peanut butter toast, but I will have to see if the carbs are the same. But either way, these are very sugary, very carby, easy carbs for me to digest quickly for the run. Also, can we have a moment? This is the bouquet Alec got me for Valentine's Day. Stunning. exhausting I am pooped it really goes to show that schedules are very strategic with my training plan like Wednesday really hard Thursday recovery Friday full day of rest like I really need that second day of rest in between my speed workout slash lower body lift and the long run my legs were pooped because not only did I do hills on Wednesday I also was squatting at the squat rack so it was just like a heavier lift but i'm very happy that i have it done with and it was so fun to have just some good quality time with tay and we started a little bit later because she had off today and i am able to kind of you know make my schedule work as long as i can plan ahead of time so it was great to just get it done with i had all four of my gels i'm really proud of myself i stuck with my fuel plan and had a gel every four miles i think my water bottle is 16 or 18 ounces and i filled it up once so i had two full water bottles actually we stopped at a water fountain too but i think i only like topped it off so two full water bottles and grab juice land on the way home so i'm gonna eat that or drink that and then this is my problem is i'm typically not hungry right after the run like I have zero appetite so something like that is easy to get in because it gets me you know some nutrients in right away some protein etc um and then that way if I wait a little bit to eat I don't feel as bad I'm gonna take myself out to lunch and work at Soho House anyway I'm gonna shower I'm so sweaty and salty after that Morning. It is now February 17th. It's Saturday. So glad that the long run was done with yesterday. It's very cold and windy this morning, so we definitely dodged a bullet there. I would definitely gladly take the humid 60 degree weather we had yesterday compared to this. I feel like there's no worse running weather than running in the wind. Like I'd rather run in the rain than wind. 
So I was supposed to do my recovery run today, but I'm actually gonna do it tomorrow. I'm so exhausted today. And tomorrow I have to film content for Lululemon and it's gonna be sunny tomorrow. So I feel like I'll just kill two birds with one stone, getting the content done while I actually have to go for the run. So we'll do that tomorrow. I originally intended on this video being a full day of eating after my long run, but I completely dropped the ball on filming yesterday. I think I showed you all my lunch and that was it. So we're gonna switch this around. We're gonna do a weekend of marathon training and also spectating the Austin Marathon tomorrow. I just ordered confetti poppers, sticks for Vaseline, Kleenex, and I think my friend Molly is bringing poster board and markers so we can make some signs. I'll probably do my run later in the afternoon. So that's what's happening. A little update, a little pivot what this video is if y'all are interested in the full day of eating after a long run let me know i think y'all have suggested that as content before if so i'll make sure to make that a priority now i'm headed to lunch with a friend i'm going up to the domain we're gonna get lunch and then do some shopping i came home to a lululemon package this is the stuff that i need to use for filming tomorrow for content so it came to some time well i also got a few extra things so i'll show you first I am mostly promoting the new colors in their Wonder Train. Let me pull this down a little bit. Came out with new colors in the Wonder Train, so that's kind of like what they want me to get across in this video. So I'm obsessed. I don't think this bra is actually that new. It's the Wonder Train Strappy Racer Bra. And I love it because I feel like it's actually supportive, but it's still like that dainty thin strap. So there's that. I wear a six and I'm a 32 see yeah i can usually size down in the more full coverage bras from lululemon to a four but anything that's not as full coverage for the tops i do a six and then i got the six inch uh wonder train shorts with pockets so these are gonna be great actually for running because they have pockets six inch i do prefer the four inch usually in the wonder train but i feel like with the pockets it was worth having the six inch and they only come in the six inch. I swear, Jax only drinks water when I decide to turn this camera on. So I wear a six in these as well. I can also size down to a four, but I definitely think I prefer the size of the six in the shorts. But in the Wonder Train leggings, I wear a four. So there's that. I also have this set in bright red that I already purchased in store and we'll use that for the content. And then since I was already ordering stuff for work purposes, I had to get myself a fun colored set for funsies. The Align V-neck bra. This is a six. I just love this color and I was actually just at Aloe up the domain and they have a ton of stuff in this color right now too. So I think it's definitely a very popular color for ending winter going into spring. It's like dusty rose. The leggings in the same color. Actually, what is this color? It doesn't say. I'm not sure what this color is actually called, but the Align leggings, my faves. These are a size four, so that'll be a cute little set for strength training. And then since I've been loving this Wonder Train bra so much, I got it in black as well. Again, size six. The one thing to note, straps are not adjustable. So I feel like that could be important to note. And then they do have the removable pads. I personally always take the pads out. I've never kept pads in my sports bras. I don't care if my nipples show. They make my boobs look so strange and I'm not for that. But I know sometimes people like to keep them in because it gives like a better shape or, you know, more protection, whatever, but I'm just not that girl. So I actually need to take them out of this too. Now I'm kind of feeling like I should do some content today. It's like 3.30 right now and we have plans at six. So I'm just trying to decide if I should relax or if I should like try to get some stuff done. It's also really cold outside, so it's just not feeling like a good time to do anything outside. Just as I was signing off, we got more goodies in the mail. I mentioned I'm spectating the marathon tomorrow, so I got these jumbo popsicle sticks to put Vaseline on for runners going by for chafing, dry lips, whatever. And we have so much Vaseline that I don't know what to do with, so I'll get a fresh jar out and just put a bunch on the popsicle sticks. And then I got some Kleenex. Seeing people with Kleenex on the course is the most glorious thing ever. Ready to spectate.
pretty much in the same outfit, but I just threw on jeans and some boots and a black long sleeve. We're going to a really casual spot for dinner with our neighbors, our old neighbors, to celebrate a birthday. So I'm just rolling with the same outfit. I'll probably wear this tomorrow to watch the marathon too. I feel like once I pick something out of my closet, it just goes in rotation for a couple of days. Is that weird or normal? Anyway, we're gonna head to Loro for dinner. If y'all are ever visiting Austin or in Austin, it's definitely a staple, one of our favorite spots. Frozen gin and tonic is in my near future. Good morning, it is Sunday, February 18th, getting ready to head out to spectate the marathon. This hat is basically my personality this weekend, but it is chilly. I'm packing the confetti poppers. I don't know if we'll use all five. Maybe I'll just bring three. And then, probably won't use all of these, but I'm gonna bring all these just in case. Vaseline, and then, again, probably don't need all this. I'll bring half the tissue. Perfect. And I'll put my fanny pack in here as well. Good day for the runners because it's 35 degrees, but for the spectators, it's gonna be a little chilly, but the sun's gonna come out, so that'll help for sure for the runners as well if they're cold at the start. Congrats to any of you who ran the Austin half or full this weekend for this past weekend um, That's such a tough course. So kudos to you. I run the half but that was back in 2020 when I was running on my own without a coach picking a Training plan off of Pinterest um, and I would like to run the full someday But we'll save it because it's a hilly one. I am freezing. It was super cold out there beautiful day for the runners but for standing out there it's not very warm and I cannot warm up. So I'm gonna actually just do my run on the treadmill. Um, I have five miles, just super easy pace. The treadmill also helps me keep that easy pace. And I'm just way too cold to get back outside to go for my run. So I'm gonna do it on the treadmill and then I'm gonna figure out, I actually realized looking through the content that I need to do, it doesn't all have to be out on the run. So I think I'm gonna move one set of content that's not due until Thursday. I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow when I go for my medium long run and then um, the Lululemon content that I have to film. Film that when I get back later this afternoon. I'm just gonna do it on the treadmill, watch some YouTube, and I think that'll help me mentally to just get it done instead of getting outside in the cold. Although it is a beautiful day, it's very sunny. You can see the sun pouring through the window. Callie is loving it. She always comes onto this bed and lays in the sun. I also picked my face, that's why I have this giant red mark. Okay, let's go before I decide to not do this. City. I was gonna be so chaotic. I'm doing one of the sample Peloton classes on the treadmill, and it's actually making the pastime. I'm not like actually going 
and doing the speed intervals, but it's just kind of fun to watch. Also, I taped on my run on Friday, so that's what that is. A little battle wound. All right, we're about two miles in. Here you go. A quick potty break. And we're picking it back up under two miles to go. Ready to go to lunch. I feel like I had kind of a social weekend, more social than usual because I've been gone a lot of weekends lately. So I feel it's been like kind of a race to catch up to see friends and stuff when I'm actually in town. And I'm gone the next two weekends as well. So, um, I had to do lunch with some friends right now and then I'm gonna come home and finish work. And then we usually do family dinners on Sundays because my brother and Alex's brother both live here in Austin. Um, but my brother is actually my brother's out of town this weekend, so I think we might skip family dinner and Alec and I just hang out tonight, but we'll see what happens. So let's go to lunch. We're going to Tiny Boxwoods. Here's the full fit. I don't know, I feel like I'm giving grandma in Palm Springs. But hey, maybe if I open this, is that better? You know, I also blue dry my hair and it's just like a force to be reckoned with. So this is as good as it's gonna get. Home from lunch, Alex is gonna come help me film my Lulu content really quickly. I'm wearing the set right now and I just have my little crop on because it is pretty chilly today. And then I just have to get UGC, which is user generated content for Zappos, which I've talked about plenty on here. I've worked with them for a year and our contract is up in March. So I just have to get all of my content done before then. So we're gonna take some photos as well, actually on this camera. And then we'll just have a relaxing rest of our Sunday. So we'll see if I get any footage there, but in case we don't, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the weekend in the life because it kind of shows more of a balance of like me living my life while also marathon training. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.